Go down on your knees, please. Everybody, go down on your knees. Our grandfather is around. Please, everybody, everybody, please go down on your knees. Go down on your knees, please. Everybody, go down on your knees. Our grandfather is around. Please, everybody, everybody, please go down on your knees. Go down on your knees, please. Everybody, go down on your knees. Our grandfather is around. Please, everybody. Everybody, please go down on your knees. Go down on your knees, please. Everybody, go down on your knees. Our grandfather is around. Please, everybody. Everybody, please go down on your knees. Go down on your knees, please. Everybody, go down on your knees. Our grandfather is around. Please, everybody, everybody, please go down on your knees. Go down on your knees, please. Everybody, go down on your knees. Johnson Suleiman is in Nigerian televangelist. Ah, God. You know, they say person, no, they no finish. No, I. It's not my wish to disrespect anyone, but I just want someone to enlighten me. What is the moral lesson behind that video? I want somebody to educate me because nowadays, whenever you try to hear your own opinion concerning anything that have to do with religion, someone will quote the Bible verse and said, and say. Thou shalt not condemn my anointing. Thou shalt not condemn my anointing. Thou shalt not judge my anointing. But if someone is trying to correct such an anointed person, they say, hey, keep quiet. Who are you to correct an anointed man of God? Who are you? Are you above God? Who are you to correct an anointed man of God? A grandfather is walking. You, you, a small boy who is uh, 75 years old, you don't want to kneel down for a grandfather that is about 40 something or close to 50 years old. You don't want to kneel down. You, 80 years old, small boy, you don't want to kneel down uh, for a 50 years old or 40 something years old grandfather. You know, it's crazy because. We cannot even correct or react to something again in this world. When you correct or react, it becomes a problem. See, eh? the only thing I just want to say, I beg God, I beg, I beg. If there is any form of punishment, eh? Eh? if you are punishing this generation, please, eh, spare me. This generation that is just filled with crews, I beg. See the other person now, they wear heels. Red Hills dancing in the church. Cruise Nation, please. I have nothing to do with this cruise nation. I am just here trying to do my beat by reacting to some certain things, trying to correct. Correct. That's what I'm doing. Oh. I'm correcting the generation in my own little way. Hmm? But people know go stay here. It's crazy. That is uh, a very respected man of uh, God by his own followers, Pastor Suleiman. And the other pastor wearing heels. I don't know that pastor. You understand? It's just crazy. I don't, uh, I don't seem to understand. I don't seem to understand it, guys. What is the moral lesson about everybody on your knees? That is command. That is force. Command, you are commanding. Everybody on your knees, you are commanding. Everybody on your knees. How we hear respect is given, it's not, uh, respect is given willy, willingly, it's not through command, it's not force. That's why I said the 80 years old man. You cannot kneel down to a 45 years old, 50 years old grandfather. Who are you? Who are you, a God anointed man of God? Who are you? Oh. God, please give us wisdom. 
give us wisdom. I don't understand it all. Sometimes uh, it's not even the pastor's fault. But yet, the pastor is enjoying it. There are some followers that just want to do overdo. Pastor never really seek for such thing, oh, but you just want to overdo. Don't forget when uh, Judas brought those uh, those police, let me say yes, police, security, to come and arrest Jesus Christ. One of uh, Jesus Christ's disciples overdo. He go caught when a Judas here uh, caught. Now Jesus Christ said, la, 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 no, you don't go overdo it, I don't send you. He carry, he, he restore Judas here immediately. Sometimes, sometimes, eh, eh, if they are worshipping you, because it's only God that I can kneel for, eh, it's only God. It's only God that I can kneel for and worship. Not man. Not man, never. Most of you in that church, we dress, we wear your glasses and stand as, as, uh, as long as you can and be calling God's name. Jesus Christ, God, God, with so much disrespect. This is a man of God. You know this. Kneel down any step you take. What the hell is going on, man? Come see. Don't be a zombie in this already corrupt world. Today is is uh, is 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 uh, church. Please try to go to church, my Christian brothers and sisters. Don't be a zombie. The only zombie that they push. Don't be a zombie in this already corrupt world. This world is corrupt. Now you now being a zombie inside this kind of corrupt world. Sometimes it's not this pastor's fault. Is the followers what they just want to they are not satisfied with just merely worshiping god they are not satisfied they need they feel they need a representative of god on earth they want to see something something to represent god uh -uh. this is the same thing the moses followers did they, they are not satisfied with just merely worshipping God for who God is. They want a representative. That is why they go continuously overdo. Overdo and overdo and overdo. Well, in this crude nation, I beg God or I beg, spare me. I'm not about that cruise. I'm no day for that cruise at all. Well, that being said, and I saw EFCC go and sack Akure nightclub. They came in tents, let me say tents, and they, they went into this club, dealt mercilessly with everyone. In fact, they have been accused of removing CCTV, disconnecting the CCTV, according to the accusation, disconnecting the CCTV and brutalizing ladies, women. In fact, uh, go check the picture on my Telegram, Adam Slink Media Telegram. Go and check the pictures there and the videos there. You will see women put us how EFCC apparently, allegedly, I'm not sure about the news because I wasn't there. Allegedly, how EFCC office, uh, officials use eh, cane and cable to dislocate all those women. Yes, the videos are there. But I wasn't there. I, I'm not going to be a false witness because I wasn't there. But they are the ones that posted the video. They said it was EFCC officials. And meanwhile, EFCC officials yesterday released a statement concerning the incident. And they said they, they arrested 127 suspected internet fraudster in all those states. EFCC arrests 127 suspected internet fraudster in Akure. The alleged internet fraudster we arrested in the early morning sitting operation in at the Yahoo Party L Ed at Signature and a bar club on Saturday, June 8, 2024, in Akure, Undo State. Credible intelligence showed that 
The alleged party was initiated, was initial, initially scheduled for Wednesday, June 5th, 2024, but was later moved to Saturday to beat security and intelligence network of ELCC. The suspect has given useful information to investigation of the directorate. Items recovered from the, from them include 10 exotic cars, phones, laptop, motorcycle, wristwatch, and many incriminating documents. They will be charged to court as soon as investigations are concluded. These are the people. You see the pictures there. You see as the many. 127 according to EFCC. And I do not see a single lady there. I be all those ladies just they chop money in me. They don't know see they see Yahoo girls as well. But uh according to Nigerians, according to Nigerians, so according to the people online who are really, really not happy because they know why allow us, they know why allow us to enjoy party again is that you people have been looking for one particular ex governor, Yaya Bilo, for a for the period of time you declared him wanted. Eh? You guys cannot arrest him. Eh? You know, no fee, no way, yeah, yeah, below the but you guys were able to to detain up to one rep to the several uh, boys one night. If this was not another form of oppression, pull yeah, AFCC now. Nah. Officials now call the act the other way now. Before you know it now, they'll say hand and EFCC and uh, just the way they do and SAS and EFCC. Well, you know, some crazy stuff are happening, guys. And uh, but now that brutality is my own problem, though. Honestly, they brutalize those women. Yeah. If you see the mark, eh? so enable uh, try as much as possible to check out the video. I cannot really tell you if it was EFCC agent that actually brutalized them. But what is shown, the things that we are written on, on Twitter and everything, that is what I'm, uh, I'm, I'm using to backing up my statement now because of what they said. And EFCC never really spoke about it. EFCC no even go there about women. They only said they arrested 127 year old boys. Internet frosters. They arrested them, suspected. So they never reveal their face. So let me say, after much investigation, more than half, they will release more than half. Because guys will just come there. Or guy may get sent. Person may be your guy. May they do all those certain first time may get. So not say then they not the Sabi hide themselves. Most of them whether they do big boy for nothing. But the thing we say, some of them may get sense. May they not owe anything incriminating with them. They will release them. Because there's nothing incriminating about them you want to arrest for. They went to a party. Going for a party is not a crime. Going to a party is not a crime. You know, uh, I think this club owner said they need to we the youths. The the youth shouldn't even stage any protest or ask for anything. The youth should stay in their house. If those club owners want the youth to come and patronize them, then this club owner need to have an agreement with the EFCC, with the Nigeria police, and whatever they need to have an agreement with, they need to come together as an association to address this issue. Be a EFCC operator, uh, operator or any other agency to come and be destroying their business. Yes. They need to have a meeting. Not the youths, not you guys who are going to the party. They need it, they want you guys to be patronizing them. If not, their business will fall. Their business will fall. Well, guys, it's the boy Gadam Slink. Thank you as usual. Catch you next time. Peace.